Right guys, I'm playing War Robots on Steam Deck. I'm overclocking Steam Deck by 35 watts. I'm using Ultimate Performance as my power plan. I'm using AMD uh, power control panel and I'm using handheld uh, control panel. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm using DS4 Windows uh, for mapping. That's my emulation mapping device. Our uh, mapping program, sorry. As I said, I don't use DSX. Because the last time I used it disconnected while I was playing the game. Uh, and the game I was playing, obviously, was Call of Duty. Right. Let's see what we get. Ah, an emoji. Another one. Nice. I could, I could have really done with an Orphean. But they, they just had to give me another one. Let's see. What else do we get? Ah, a Reaper. Yay. So that means I got three of those emoji robots. Right, let's see what else do we get. Ah, a steak. Yes, I've got three of those already. What else is on the menu? Ah, another steak. Oh, wonderful. I mean, I, I really wanted a robot. I mean, an Ophia. <laughs> you know, something nice. Oh, my God. Reapers. That's all you get. Oh, God. And you know what? I've actually finished the whole thing. Look at that. I've finished it. So even if it goes to 13, that's it. That's It's all done. You know? It's kind of sad. What's this thing? It says Ultimate Data Pad. Oh, wow. You get a legend rewards. Let's see. What's, what's this thing? Is that a, Wait, is that another Spectra? Because I've got Spectra already. Let's see. Yeah, that's a Spectra. It must be. Wait, but it's got these weapons. Okay, do I get these weapons? Oh, my God. So what do you have to do for this one? It says, I got an order from corporate for some data. I wonder what it may be. If you have any questions, uh, ask away. Right, so I don't know what this task is. So this corporate will do anything for valuable information, but all but not all information is equally valuable for corporate. This time we need specific data. Open red data pads. Silver to move up. What? Open red data pads. Ugh. That's so what what data pads are they talking about? The red ones. These ones. Are you supposed to open these things up? Oh, they need money. Alright. Yeah, as if I, I I would have never have guessed. Or you pay this one and you just get these data pads. Ah, man. I just want to see what tasks I'm left with. So it says destroy 15 robots. Yeah, I might as well just finish this task off. I kept one Fafnir in here. I don't really, I mean, I don't hate the Fafnir. I just, I just like I said, I've never had... A use for it, you know. I've never really had a use for that. Those Fafnir things. All right? What are these ones? What are mine? Uh, oh yeah, I've got. The, they're the same. Then they're the same as this one. I, I'd rather, you know what? I'd rather have this. This one, the emoji. I know it's 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 still level one, but I'd rather use that dude because at least when he goes up in the air, he creates a portal, and other robots can actually use the portal. So. I mean, he, at least he does something useful, <laughs> you know. What's this one? This is Capri, right? I don't. These two, they're not. They're not for um. Emoji. Wait, I think Emoji is that lady that holds those numbers up. Isn't this the one? I'm pretty sure she's already in a in my, one of my um images, and I'm sure this one too. Yeah, just like I thought. This lady here. That that's the one for um thing. But you see, I could use this one as well. She, what is she in? What? Oh, in a happy. So that's pointless. How about this one? And the Seraph. You know what? She she deals... Yeah, I'm going to assign her. Because the kind of weapon she, she, she supports is the dot damage. But I'm not sure if I've got dot damage weapons. Uh, let's see. Do I have any... No, I don't have uh, those types of things. Right, so... 
Let's see. All right. He doesn't cost a lot to upgrade. As long as I can push him to level 5, I'll be happy. That means he can heal, you know? So he's on 4. Yes. Wow. I'm happy about that. Because, you see, at least at level 5, now he can heal. See? He's got the healing thing. Wait. Where's my data thing? Uh, wait. I, 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 I know what I'm thinking about. Uh, did I give it to this dude? Yeah, I gave him the nuclear amplifier. I want to give it to Imuji. Uh, and obviously, I'm going to swap Imuji for another robot uh, from another hangar. I'm just trying to think of what to give this uh, this uh, robot. Because he, he, um, he needs one that supports uh, dot damage. Otherwise, having this pilot would be a waste of time. So, I need to find what weapons I can give that support dot damage. And at the moment... I kind of, I kind of have a feeling I don't have any uh, that are light. No, 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 I do, I do the toxin. Uh, but then taking off one toxin and leaving the other, <laughs> it's, just, it's gonna make my robot look ugly now. Wait, let me, let me find. Uh, I've got a medium one, but I don't want the mediums. Um, yeah, you know what? I'll borrow these weapons from this dude. I'm gonna borrow the the hazards. Uh, the hazards are really good. All right, so I need a light weapon or a... Wait, what can I do? You know what I'm thinking? I might as well... He's got a magneto, right? Those are magnetos. Yeah, I probably want one of those. What I'm going to do... Yeah, yeah, wait, wait, wait. This, these support dot damage, don't they? Yeah, there you go. So I'll just borrow one of these. Uh, this is Sting. It fires every three seconds. That supports dot damage. I just, I like the weapons matching, you know. I, I honestly didn't have any dot damage, except for this one. But that's Bane. That's, um, that's a heavy uh, thing, heavy weapon. It's not going to work on, um, on Emoji, because Emoji can only carry mediums and light, you see. So it's never going to work. So at least with the Sting, Sting is dot damage. And then now I can just put the, um, the Cryptic Hazard and the other Hazard. It's the same weapon. I think it's just that this one's got more damage output. That's got 1185. And uh, no more one's got 1129. You see, it's not, it's not much of a difference. It's the same weapon. And Sting, you see, now when I do this, when I click for the weapons, because one supports dot damage, I'm all good. You see, Medea's knowledge, Medea Nerium, all weapons and robots, uh, inbuilt weapons with dot effects deal increased direct damage. So all weapons, or if you've got built-in weapons. So I think the built-in one, I don't know what robot would have built-in dot damage. But you see, now I need to send this emoji to the other side. Ah, we're removing Skyros. Uh, really, you know what I'm going to do? All right, I've got a plan. I've got a master plan. Let me swap. <laughs> Let me swap low-key. I'm going to swap Loki for the Skyros. No, wait. Let me see. I got Skyros here. I got Loki. I, I really, you know, I don't like swapping them around too much. All right. So Skyros to come here. Next to here. You know, I'd rather have the Loki in this hangar. Now, I'm just saying it's it just doesn't. Okay, this guy's got grenades on him. He's not bad. He's not bad. But I'd rather have the Loki. So let me do this. Let me swap. Low key for the Skyros. For this guy, the Skyros doesn't have bad weapons, got grenades on it and fainter. It's not bad. You see, it's not, it's not a bad. I just noticed the weapons are not that bad. And then what I'm going to do in here is swap Imuji for Loki and send Loki to the Sanger. Uh, you see, and then I'll have, I'll have my three. Now I've got two Erebus and three Imujis. Right, so that's pretty cool. And then in here I've got three Harpies, one Mars, one Loki, and Newton in the background. Right, and here I've got Luchindo, two Crimson Hawk, two Scorpion, and uh, Techno Scorpions, and Skyros. Like I said, the weapons has got are quite good. As in this fifth thing, I've got Sirius, I've got two Shells, two Warrior Typhoon, and Skyros. The second hangar, yeah, I think I've already said this one. 
first hang is uh, uh, neither Mars and three anglers. You know, I'm just noticing that I did remove uh, neither. Yeah, my neither is not here. No, I mean, I, I might as well. Let me swap out Loki for neither. No, you, you know why I, I had originally removed uh, the neither? I think it's because I was doing all this swapping of, um, you know, I was doing all these swapping things. Yeah, that's my neither there. Let me take that back. I, I Okay, the only reason why I probably had uh, the Loki in the first place in that hangar is because of uh, beacons. Because, you know, like I said, if, if I am chasing after beacons, I do prefer having Loki. Because Loki's got uh, permanent stealth. When I say permanent, as long as you don't use your weapons with Loki, with this one, you can actually run round circles around those dudes. You see? Ah, you see, I, I checked out the name. It's, this is called Skull. The other one's called Skaldi. Okay, the names are similar, but just not the same. I was a bit confused for a second. Righty, right. So... Um, okay. So basically, you know what? I want to swap out these weapons. Uh, let me grab this one. And yeah. So that's, that's the main reason why I do not use that, um, that robot. Um, what's his name? I don't use those robots because, I mean, listen, I'm not saying anything bad about them. It's just, um, the robots, I'm talking about Fafnir's. I thought, let me try and use it and see where I can go. And obviously, the results were not good. So, you know. Uh, I was going to say, if you've got the grenade weapons, give those to the Skyros or to your Loki, I mean, to your Scorpion. Um, the, the grenade ones, because look where I'm using them now. I used to use them on my, remember on the, on the, on the Anglers, look where I put it. I put it on my Scorpion. It's really good because when it fires, when you've got one, you don't notice it. But when you've got two, you do notice the damage. Because when they're two, it's like, it's like a machine gun type thing. It fires them out, the grenades. And when they hit the target, they all hit the target. It's like five shots each. And when they hit the target, they all explode at the same time. And then blight causing damage to the armor. So that's why I'm saying if, if you're bored and you don't know where to put those, um, those weapons, those uh, things... These grenade things, put them either on Skyros, but give Skyros, don't put like all grenades. It's not good like that. Just put like two of them, heavy and the light one. And then you see the heavy and the light. And then put like a fainter there. What the fainter is going to do is that as long as you do hit your target and it freezes, these will cause maximum damage. You see? The damage output is intense. So that's why I'm saying I was trying to find out what to do with these uh, weapons because I did put them on Angler, the one good on Angler. But when I, as soon as I put them on Skyros, I was like, yes, this is the right place. You know, you know what I mean? That's why I was saying I wasn't like unhappy to have Skyros. At first, when, when I was having all these crappy weapons, yeah, it wasn't that good. Um, oh, yeah, and the other weapons I'm finding a problem with now is these spear weapons. They're not good on Skyros. Um, but, I mean, I've got no way to put them. You know, this... Because what, what else can I put on Skyros? I don't have any more grenade launching weapons. I can't put shotgun on this dude. I don't think shotgun weapons are good. I just put the, the needle and the stake. I've only got one needle. And the stake, uh, I've got three of them. But I'll actually show you where I put the other stakes. I put them on a siren. The siren's not in... Um, the siren's actually in my inventory. I'll just show you. I, I don't I don't I'm not saying they're bad weapons. I'm just saying I you see there they are. So I, I wanted them to be somewhere. So these are the ordinary stake. And that one is a Baloo stake. Would have been nice if there was a robot that only used like three of these uh, heavy weapons but had rapid movement, you know, like quick movement. I don't know. Maybe I'm I'm just used to it. I'm not used to this uh this out thing. I'm just saying if you play this game, you will notice a lot of differences with weapons. If you put the wrong weapon on a robot, you will notice it straight away because the damage output you start getting will be less. You understand? So I'm, I'm not saying, I'm not trying to put people off like don't get this, uh, these weapons or these robots. 
I'm saying with Skyros, I noticed the grenade launching weapons, the new weapons, the grenade ones, are really good for Skyros. But don't make it all grenade. Because for whatever reason, it, it then kind of kills the whole, you know, thing that you're trying to do. Yeah, I don't use the Sanger. Uh, that's long range, isn't it? Wait, okay. You know what? I'm starting to wonder where my Skyros had gone. <laughs> It's like, where's my scars? Uh, this is the right hanger. Because th these have got the snipers. The Erebus is a sniper. Look what I do. You see what I used to do? I used to walk. Now, all I got to do is follow wherever this dude is with his uh, portals. And wherever he lands, that's where I go. You know, the portal thing. Right. So these are prismas. So let's see. Let's cause a bit of damage. Ah, damn. You see, so these do 1,100 meter damage. As long as you hit the target, it's okay. But you have to hit the target. Right. So, if I go in, there you go. I've landed. Are these good for up-close battles? Well, it depends. It really depends with the people you're playing with as well. Because if you've got a good team, this guy is running away. That's not good teamwork. But there are a lot of people in here. Oh, that's an Erebus as well. I took it down. Nice one. Right, so if everyone just stays here and we fight it out, we could kill these robots. Oh, my God. Oh, that was fancy. Well, I didn't want to come down. That's the thing. Oh, it's gone now. Damn. No, I'm being targeted. That's the problem. Like I said, this guy is not good for... Oh, my God. Ah, damn. Okay, no problem. Let's use my Imuji. This dude has got two hazards and one blight. Oh my god. We didn't lost. Right, so basically, guys, like I was saying, um, the best weapons for Imuji as well are the hazards. Because these do fire every three uh, seconds. I think it's three seconds, three or five seconds. I, I don't remember. Um, but the hazards do uh, quite a lot of damage. Uh, you can also put the hazards on Scorpion. 